What's up everyone? We are leaving Kingman today. Yep, we did make an offer on a house. We did make an offer. We haven't heard anything yet. We'll see. Right now, today we're gonna head down to Bullhead City because we just need a little bit of water in our lives. So <laughs> like 40 minutes away, we can go down to Bullhead and we're gonna stay next to the Colorado River. Yeah, we've never stayed there before, so it should be fun. Try it's some a, new things. Yeah, it's a new place I'm gonna do. We can check out Bullhead City a little bit. We have drove through it, but we haven't really done anything there. So it's something to do. We'll also be uploading this video with Nomad Internet if you guys need some super fast, high speed, unlimited mobile Wi Fi. Check out the link below. guys we have made it to bullhead, bullhead yeah <laughs> it's morning time we just hung out yesterday when we got here got set up they tried to put us in some tiny little site we couldn't even fit the rv in let alone the <laughs> rv and the truck and she said oh yeah it's huge it's wide and yeah okay all the sites but, were open though so we got to pick yeah like the whole row was open so we took the very first spot here right on the so, corner and you could have some grass yeah we got some grass some palm trees but these palm trees have the dang seeds so there's bees everywhere and birds keep landing eating the seeds and bunnies but we also learned that right down the road here, actually pretty much on the river, is boondocking sites mm -hmm. for $15 a night. $15. And we, didn't, we didn't know. We only paid 30 for hookups right on the river, which isn't too bad, but 15 bucks is pretty nice. You literally have a beach right behind you. So yeah, we paid for like two nights here. So after that, I think we're gonna move down there for a few nights. Mm -hmm. This is definitely going to be a fun hangout spot the water is so clear it's just a beautiful place yeah. to camp and like 40 minutes from kingman and they also rent jet skis right here at this rv park mm -hmm. so we're going to definitely check that out Ready? all right we're taking annie down to the Ready? beach before we go down to the home depot and get a new toilet seat because candace got a <laughs> tiny one that doesn't fit <laughs> it said fits most what are you gonna most do? not all <laughs> Wow, the water's so low. This is crazy. It's just the dam. The dam is right up the way here. I guess they open it throughout the day and the water rises, probably as we're using energy throughout the day. It's pretty wild though. Oh my gosh, it dries Man, up. Man, walk way out there. Holy crap. pretty cool we would be shoot almost waist deep by now it would at least be up past your knees oh, yeah. it would be up to here. pretty cool well we definitely found a nice little desert oasis here not far from Kingman though it is just so nice. I'm sure it's so packed here in the summer, though. I would probably hate it. Yeah. But, but. late fall and winter, I don't want to really be out here when it's 110 anyway. They can have it. Yeah. You know, even on the water, that's too dang hot for me. All right, it is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. We're going to go for a drive today, I think. Go check out the dam and up above the dam at the, what is it mojave lake mm -hmm. so we're gonna go check it out just see what the dam looks like and go for, a drive. go for a nice drive it's a beautiful day it's gonna be like 85 today 
Annie's excited. She's been sitting outside all day. <laughs> she just loves it. She's been rolling in the grass. <laughs> Crazy dog. All right, let's do this. We're gonna go down first and check out these boondocking spots right next to the river because we're probably gonna move in a couple days. Man, that river's pretty. Breeze to the muddy Missouri. Yeah. <laughs> it's brown. All right, we're at the top. We're up at the lake. We're getting ready to walk across the dam. This lake is freaking beautiful, man. Wow. We might have to buy us a boat. I don't know. For now, we'll rent, but it's something to think about. This is 40 minutes from Kingman. If we get a house there, man. I could spend a lot of time out here on a boat. Wow, this is pretty cool. There's the power station. It's where the water flows through and turns the turbines and makes the power that our RV is sucking up right now. <laughs> yeah. Huh. I don't have the AC on, so I'm not using much. But you can definitely tell the difference. But this lake looks a lot fuller than the other ones we've seen it's not as empty like it doesn't look as low like it is down a little bit but it doesn't look extreme so jumping or diving from bridge prohibited i'm good i don't want to dive from this bridge <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, it's oh a long gosh. dive i'm good <laughs> i'm sure people have done it or they wouldn't have to put up multiple signs Hopefully it's safe because we're camped like right below the dam. <laughs> road closed, bicycles and pedestrians only beyond this point. So I'm guessing this road has been closed for a very long time because that sign looks very old. That looks a little bit newer. Very pretty from up here though. Well, they got cameras everywhere, boy. They're watching you. They're making sure you don't do nothing. Nothing's don't do stupid. it. Don't do it. They're watching. <laughs> There's another park over here on the other side. I'm not sure what it is. I'm going to look it up. There's a whole bunch of school buses and cars and stuff there. I'm not sure. I would like to rent a boat once while we're here, maybe. Would be nice. The only thing they have down at the bottom on the river is jet skis. I couldn't find any boat rentals, but up here at Catherine's Landing, they have like uh, ski boats, uh, pontoons, and jet skis. So I might look into renting a pontoon. We'll wait till Monday. It's always cheaper during the week. Oh, Most of these crowds will be at home. <laughs> I kind of prefer the lake to the river. It's just, you know, it's wider, it's, you know, there's little coves to go back in. I just think it would be a lot more fun on a boat. The camping up here is not on the lake, though, that I've found so far. The Catherine's Landing, it's a little ways back, but, you know, it's not too far of a walk down there. And if you rent a boat or have a boat, you can get a slip to park it. And then you can just find somewhere on the beach during the day and just pull up to the beach and hang out or whatever. I don't know if it's just really early in the day, but there's not many boats out right now. Oh, there's boats out. We're just This lake is huge, dear. See, they keep coming out of little coves. They'll, they'll come out and then they'll disappear again. There's lots of little fingers and stuff that go back behind mountains. and the, I don't even think this is the biggest part of the lake. Because the, the landing is up around the corner. You can't even see it from here. It's a huge marina with like hundreds and hundreds of slips. We'll check it out. I think you have to pay. 
to even enter the landing area. I don't know if we're going to do it today. I think we'll wait. If I'm going to pay to go in, I'd rather wait till tomorrow. Or actually, what's today? What is today? Saturday. Yeah, well, we might, well, I don't know. We might wait till Monday. Yeah. Probably. I think we actually like, want to do something up there, like rent a boat. Yeah, if I'm going to pay to get in, I don't want to pay just to drive through it. Yeah. So we'll wait till probably Monday and then we'll rent a boat. It does look fun. Definitely need a top. It's a felony to trespass down the rock. So you can't be rock climbing down the dam. Let me check it out. Just like a big rock hill. Oh, that ain't nothing. Wow. I can't believe this is holding back that wow i think from now on we're gonna camp up here <laughs> I don't wanna camp. we're literally right down here yeah. if this thing goes we're done for <laughs> it's all she wrote but i mean it's, it's pretty low it's... yeah but look at the boondocking sites are awesome you have a view of the dam that is pretty cool It is nice. All right, we stopped at the RV because I had to pee so bad and none of the bathrooms were open. So we ate and now we were on the other side of the river. I don't know if we'll be able to, I doubt we can see our RV from here, maybe, I don't know. We'll see the boondocking spots though that we went by. I'm using Candace's camera because I forgot the GoPro. <laughs> wow, this is some pretty grass. I got something going on over here. It's like furniture, I don't know. It's just a park. But there's the dam from the Nevada side. It's pretty cool. There's the big gates they can open if they ever have too much water. Uh, okay, there could, there could be too much again. Never say never. That's right. <laughs> Annie, that's some nice grass though, huh? She said it's all right. There's a nice breeze now. It's supposed to be cloudy, but it's pretty sunny right now. Beautiful though. It is so beautiful. Yeah, you can kind of see the boondocking spots over there. They all have palm trees. Very nice. All right, I think we did enough. Yeah. We don't want to overdo it. I don't want to get too ripped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's getting a little warm. We're going to go back to the RV and just hang out, watch a little TV. Till that sun gets a little lower and cools down. And then we'll go check out the river a little bit more. The beach is like, what, 100 feet from our yeah. RV is a beach. So we'll go down once the sun starts going down. We're going to end this one here. In the next video, we're going to hopefully maybe rent a boat. Yeah. We'll see. But awesome. we'll see you guys in a few days. We appreciate each and every one of you. And thanks for watching. Okay, there's a Ramada down here. I was wondering what the path was for. It'd be kind of silly if you couldn't see the damn dam. Right. This is a pretty cool dam. It's small though compared to like Hoover. It's still cool. Size doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs>